Okay, get your ophthalmologists out, get your people to understand eyes out, because that, my friend, is an eyeball. Now, well, Roger, you must be insane. Well, maybe I am, but I can tell you what, that's an eyeball, <laughs> regardless whether I'm insane or not. You see this little, this that, that patterning, you see that? And you see all these little strips coming off of here? Exa unbelievably patterned. Do you see this? When we get down here, you take a look at that. You can't. It's just, it's absolutely this. And what does that do? That pulls the I don't know what they call it, aura sclerata or something. I can't remember now. But the all of this is the structure of the membrane around your eyes and that's what pulls open your you know it makes your eyeball pop open so the light can come through and then it goes in on each one of these rings now in your eye has the same thing now when I was first looking at these I was thinking to myself wow I can tell you what's going on here but I didn't go deep enough in I didn't get to the details on this side I only got to the other side this side was cleaned off by the water rushing through here the other side it ended up collecting over the top of it so I could see a lot of dock slips and so forth over there but here I'm absolutely certain those are the actual attachments that make your eye re, you know you, your iris I, I believe they call it that just, just, just like that <laughs> that is an eye my friends I now I also do believe they used the all of those little channels like over here I came I could find the dock slips you see here these are all these channels coming in, but these are the same things. But I think they used those and built up the walls on top of the actual, and these are like actual buildings here, and these were boat slips. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what they did, and they, you know, as at first I said that's obviously um, marina type activity there, and they were seafaring people and then there's another one right out here there's another one of these rings out here and um, whether or not that's another eyeball I don't know it's got all the same sort of things it's got all that same looking stuff going around it and I thought this was probably a protectorate for Atlantis which was over there and this was all the same sort of boat docks all the way around, that type of thing. And it got washed down and scrubbed clean. But you can see it has all these same rivulets coming in there. Of course, they're all over the place. I don't know. I'm going to tell you right now, though, that is an eyeball. And this all ran out over the top of Atlantis, and it ran out over and into the ocean created the Cape Verde Islands, I believe. So, when I hear people say, let's, you know, uh, this is mythology, to me, I'm seeing reality here. Now, you could call it anything you want. Call it mythology, call, call things religions, call them mythos, call them um, <clears throat> Cults, I don't care, call it whatever you want. I'm looking at the reality of the situation that I am presented with. And I'm bringing it down to the fact that it came to, there was a, a whole series of events came and then Jesus Christ came and said, no, this is, we're stopping all this stuff. Here's the reality of the situation you people were taking advantage of. Trust in me, and 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 uh, you'll be okay. But if you if you don't, you're done. Now, that's what I think I'm going to go with at this moment. That's my feeling. But you can go anywhere you want. That's my my way. I do things. I don't care what, how you feel, but I don't care about not telling you how I feel either. I'm not going to hide how I feel. Um, and I will stand behind the facts when I put out the facts and I can show evidence and then I have people that say, oh, that can't be, that can't be, and they just turn around and walk away. Those people I don't respect whatsoever. Not a bit. And that's all I have found 
as far as teachers, professors, PhDs? 100%. Find one that, that, that doesn't. I did have one contact about this from somebody who says their only interest is in mythology and, 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 and sort of said they weren't interested. I don't know if he is or not, but I sent back and I said, you should be interested. This is, this is your, your business. That's exactly what you said. You, you're interested in mythology. I said, what you call mythology, I think is reality. So, you know, if you don't look at it in that vein, well, then it, for you it's mythology. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to leave it probably at that, but <laughs> as I normally do, uh, you may see me again shortly on this, or even in the next minute. I do have more to say, and I'm going to just mention that most of the things I'm talking about come from uh, this, uh, well, they're from all different um, research, but a lot I get out of the New LaRose Encyclopedia of Mythology. It's all the same sort of stuff, but they categorize it pretty good, and they give you the details pretty good. Now, this is the Assyrio-Babylonian mythology and the seven tablets of creation. That's where I'm going. And when you go up to here and you look, and you, it talks about dragons and fish and all that stuff, that's a dragon, that's a fish. Now, that came to me for some reason out of the blue, and I'm not going to say it was divinely inspired, but I'm going to tell you what. I was looking at Atlantis over here, right over there, for two years or more, maybe three, maybe even more than that. I never saw that fish, I never saw that dragon. And they are unmistakable. And you know how it happened that I came to find these? I was sitting thinking, nobody's ever going to listen, because I had DNA, I have giants, I have the DNA from the giants, huge giants, that it just so, it, you know, over 200 feet tall. DNA certified, here's, the, here's a fingertip from one, right here, hold on. Here's the fingertip. All right, just let me show you. There's the fingertip right there. <laughs> That's in my backyard. That's the fingernail. It's absolutely perfect. I even have the fingerprints that are from the... I, I broke off a piece on the other side, which were the fingerprints in the grip skin, and I took that, and I drilled into the arterial, and I got some stuff out, and we sent it off for DNA from ancient protocols, not a cheap thing, and... Um, and that's just a giant fingertip. And, and uh, I have a lot of this stuff. I have tons of tons and tons and tons, and I mean literally tons. And all of that stuff is, is, um, is mud fossils. And there's new species there. That's a no-toe. That foot there is, is a foot of a, of a human-type creature. And I have a friend, Tish Egerton, has scads of these. And they are what she didn't dig them out of the ground. She lifted them off of the ground. She just lifted them right up off of the ground. Same as I did these. Only somebody piled most of these up in stone fences all around my yard. That's called the stone fence. Right? They're all over the place. I got them, and, and, I, and more of these are out there. The same ones of this one. Some of them are a little more deteriorated. And the same thing with my other big... Giants. Their their fingers are are some are real deteriorated and some are just look like they perfect. Here's one here. It looks perfect. Right. This is from another giant on my property. Same thing. And that was CAT scanned, DNA certified as well. Well, actually, this was the one that was certified DNA. Same hole as this. And I have the palm. I have the knuckles. I have all that stuff. That's the bottom, just the pad of your hand. The same, I had it authenticated in many, many ways. That's what tendons lock in on the side so you can move your fingers. Now, and that's the uh, distal phalanges bone silhouette. You see that black silhouette there? Vein, plugged, plugged, artery, open, open. That's what happens. Arteries blow out. And like here's a little fingertip. This one blowed out, uh, blowed <laughs> out the end. It blew out the end, and that's blood. 
turns into into uh, crystals. Body fluids are the are the crystals we find. They have something built into them that services life, and it goes into some crystals. Clay, you know, is a platy polar silicate. Polar means that they turn into crystals. And a kid did a, 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 a little video on the about clay. It was very good. He's, he hasn't gotten many hits on it. Uh, it's been there for a couple of years. And uh, it's very good. And it talks about platy, polar, silicates, and how they grow between just they're, they're from molecules and then then you get into clays and then from there it ends up being life and he's no geologist and no biologist and nobody can understand how did you get from that molecule over the top of the clay to become alive all right and i have some ideas about that because i've been studying this stuff very deeply and no i'm rejecting nothing because I'm finding things that nobody can get their their mind around. I'm calling it minds in collision. All right, Velikowski put out a book called Worlds in Collision about how a lot of this stuff happened and the gods and the smashing and the, all kinds of tearing up of our, our our solar system and and he had all the details that had been written in history and we just forgot them and said all oh, these people were silly. We're much smarter than they are. Well. That's absolutely not the case. Anyway, um, that is my last words. I'll let it go at that now. But I, like I say, I, I, I'm, I have respect for people that, that can allow themselves to discuss facts. I'm not asking them to say, oh, let's just think about this and think about that, which is exactly what they do. I'm saying, here's what I have. Let's discuss how this occurred, how it got here, what they said in the past. Does this make sense? Thank you.